Yeah, it's your boy Black Milk. Y'all at the crib, man. Y'all in the basement. But this, this, I just, I just moved out. So it's like I left all my studio equipment, though. You know, it's still, still here, man. So yeah, man. This where, this where it all, you know, this where it all starts at. This the root, the root, root, man. All this stuff y'all hear, I produce. You know what I'm saying? It's like the pre, the pre-recording spot, man. Before you know, it get took to the big studio, like take it to Studio A. Uh, Take it to my man Vernon D. Hill crib, you know what I'm saying, where they got the crazy boards and all the keyboard, everything else would get mixed down at. It's where it basically started at, though, man. It's the basics, man. I mess with the, you know, see, I got the 2000, the MPC 2000 XL. I fuck with the 3000, too. You know, sometimes I fuck with the three up at the big studios, you know. The Pro Tools. Pro Tools, nigga, blowing my phone. Pro Tools and shit, you know, the KRKs. Regular stand turntable, you know, core, micro core. I know everybody up on this by now, man. I had that for a while. You know, guitar, bass guitar, and, and the records, man. You know, a few a few records. I got more equipment upstairs. That's like some shit, you know, that's like the secret weapon shit, man. But this is the basics, man, right here. You know, that's where, that's where all the magic happened, man. You know, for all the Slum Village albums, you know, all the beats I done did for the Slum albums. You know, all the records, these are like a lot of the records I done used for that shit. Sound of the City that came out last last summer. You know, a lot of shit. You know, I did that whole shit down here in the basement, man. Then we had, um, what else, what else? I just did a couple records for, for Feral Mach. It's crazy, crazy. It was in the studio with him like a couple days ago. That's crazy. Uh, Lloyd Banks, be on the line. I'm going to play y'all some of that stuff too, matter of fact. Be on the lookout for that Lloyd Banks album, man. You know what I'm saying? I got a track on there. And it's like it's like other four, like four other Detroit producers on there. My man Nick Speed. Uh, who else on there? Dez. You know, a couple other cats, man. Just be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, man, that's it, man. That's it, man. I'm going to play, play y'all cats some stuff, man. I'm going to find some of these records that uh, y'all might be familiar with. Oh, this joint right here, man. Y'all might remember Detroit Deli album. Slum Village's Detroit Deli album, man. Uh, the joint. What was the name of the joint? The joint with Dilla, with JD on it. I think it was, yeah, Reunion. The joint with JD and, and T3 and F. I think, uh, yeah, this the record I fuck with. Oh, that shit. Let me see. Try to find it, man. This shit. Here you go. Y'all might still not recognize me. Crazy shit, man. Like that, like that. that was, <laughs> you remember that joint? I remember joint? that joint. <laughs> I remember that joint. Uh, that was crazy. Yeah, man. That's some jazz. I don't even fuck with jazz records, man. This shit up, my man John Abercrombie, man. That's what that was. Timeless. Check that out. You know, I don't mind showing y'all the records now because I already don't fuck with it. Shoot the prices and just went up on the records right there. <laughs> right, man. Right. Oh, yeah, be on the lookout for my man uh, T3, the Oleo mixtape, man. Go get that, too. That shit is crazy. I did, like, all the beats on there except, except one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this right. I'm, I'm going to play. I'm going to play this joint real quick. The Silvers album, man. It's like my, my my favorite, one of my favorite groups right here. My top favorites. Like, I always got to argue with myself. Like, who the best between them and the Jackson 5, man. You know what I'm saying? Jackson 5, you know, niggas gonna always say the Jackson 5. But these niggas are sweet as hell, though. Yeah, yeah man. Like I said, if y'all got Sound of the City, you know what I'm saying? It's one of the joints I'd uh, cut up for um that the one song, Swing That Far. About the song with the chicks and the asses, the fat asses and shit. Silvers, man, I'm telling you. Like, they right up there with the Jackson 5, man. I can't, I don't know, man, who I like better. Just, uh, yeah. Yeah. I chop, I chop like different pieces of the record. You know, it'd be like a collage and I just piece it all together. Sometimes I 
take something from another record, man. If it match, if the melodies match up, man, I'll put it on the beat, too. And, you know, fuck the drums I fuck with. Put some little claps. It came out, you know, it came out like this. Midwest in general, Detroit, hip-hop, you know what I'm saying, whatever. Like I say, man, it's a movement, and the whole thing is like, it's been crazy. I had to step back and, and really take a look at it, man, like, since Dilla passed, you know, and Proof passed, like, cat, it kind of it kind of threw a monkey wrench in, into what I was doing, you know what I'm saying, but I looked at it like, that's that should give me, that should give us even more drive, you know, Detroit. And the Midwest, you know what I'm saying? Just give give us more drive to put this this good music out here, cause we got tons of, you know what I'm saying? You know Detroit people know Detroit for having tons of uh, artists on that soul soul shit, you know what I'm saying? On that real real hip hop, dope hip hop shit, you know what I'm saying? Not just backpack, you know what I'm saying? I hate when when cats put us in that category like backpack, like we don't, you know what I'm saying? Do regular shit, but we just got good music, man. So we're gonna try to get this movement. Movement started, man. I'm about to sign my first real record deal, man, and, and put out my first official, real official album this year. So hopefully that could that could start a domino effect of uh, different things. You know what I'm saying? So that that's the whole plan, man. That's the whole plan, and, and try to eventually take it over. <laughs> you know, get into the mainstream eye and kill it. Can you go about looking for samples? I know uh, to Pete Rock and saying that he go through an entire record. You know, he listens to the entire record. Yeah, I I listen through a whole song too, but it's sometimes it's like if I hear something before I get to the end of the song, I'm I'm, I'm chopping it up. I might not even make it through the whole song. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't messed with this record yet, dog. This is a new wax, piece of wax I just got. But uh, yeah, I be skipping through. Sometimes I be impatient, man. I had to skip through the shit. 